Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We're playing for the Aladdin achievement, starting out over here in uh, basically as far east as you can go. Although, I should have realized that, that it would have been possible to start out at the earlier start date in two counties over here uh, and possibly work my way over there. I'm not sure that that would really have been all that more... all that much easier. So, oh, it looks like the Abbasids uh, came in and trashed parts of the uh, Salmonids. Um, unfortunately, they would still call in the Abbasids, and that is that is annoying. Um, yeah, 16k troops is not something that I can deal with, although it looks like you're at war with France right now. West Francian Holy War for Badajoz. Wait, that? Or you, did you join in with uh, someone? Looks like Asturias and that other kingdom joined together. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Asturias, Idrisid, and uh, Califramadon. Okay. Also in a bunch of other wars. Um, also, Burgundy! I have never seen a big Burgundy like that. Ever. Like, really? It's actually kind of neat. Um, anything else that we've got going on interesting? Uh, Jorvik is over there. I love that, that West Francia has parts of uh, Ireland. Um, and it looks like a Duchy of Aragon has formed. Duchy of Aragon, Duchy of Castile. That's kind of neat. I do like this Constantine down here. Uh, what do we have going on religion-wise? They're doing pretty well with Catholic. Germanic's still there. Still plenty of uh, uh, Jewish Khazaria, Khazaria. Looks like they may have expanded a little bit, too. What is this? Hungarian Orthodox uh, Cognate of Biloxi. <laughs> Alright, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. It looks like uh, Pannonia has been destroyed uh, after they went to uh, um, Muslim. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's really neither here nor there. We are currently working on um, building up our realm. Uh, which we need to go till 954, and actually I think early 954. Yeah, January 19th. Uh, so that's that'll be really good if we can get that completed. Uh, meanwhile, I am uh, I have put out a call for some smiths. So let's see what uh, what we can blow non-existent money on. else? Not really. Yeah, alright. I need to go through and, like, change all of the, uh, of names. But you're married, so it's not gonna, not really gonna matter. Hey, a tithe! 238. Let me let me spend this before I uh, hire the uh, the smiths. Um, what can I spend this on? Uh, actually, I could spend it on Castle Town here. Not enough for a Castle Town here. But I need 125. My wife died. Well, that's a shame. There we go. Castle Town. Okay, uh... I should indeed marry again, but who am I going to do that with? What is my grace like right now? 224. It's not going to be enough for a marriage, that's for sure. 
Um, not much point in going for a marriage right now, anyway. I would probably, you know, when I do die and inherit as uh, him, I think I may save up for a marriage with uh, Zhang Wei. That would be pretty nice. All right, but this will be an opportunity to get some more kids. So ideally, let's go for Lustful. Uh, 37, 16, 41. I mean, lustful. I guess. It's, it's the guy that I keep refusing to help. You know. He's actually pretty close. So, one thing that I do like with the changes that they've done with, uh, um, the Cassus Belli... I think India is a lot more stable, and it's much more likely to produce empires, and I kind of like that. I mean, number one, it makes it a little bit harder for, um, you know, other countries to expand in that area, which is not, not a bad thing. Okay. Let's see. You don't like me very much. Infidel. Uh, if I... <laughs> Yeah, I can't afford uh, 15 gold. There we go. Demand religious conversion. Please, be a Jew. Thank you. She's dull. She's trusting. She's gregarious, patient, lustful, fortune builder. Yeah, we might have some kids. Uh, holy UT and holy war for Nagari. Uh, All right. I mean, if they expand for me, that's not that bad of a thing. The only the big downside is just going to be that uh, um, you know I'm not going to be. Uh, I mean, they're going to be stronger than I might want them to be. Uh, you're trying to kill someone, but you're ending it, so that's fine. During the last few days, I have overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through King High, uh, and my courtiers are prattling excitedly about his work. Perhaps I should invite this man and, and employ his services. Uh, nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. Yes. The goldsmith, Woozy, courteously accepts my invitation and arrived at court mere weeks later. He has presented me with some sketches of his previous work and several letters of recommendation. I am assured of his skill, although I ask myself just how much money I can spare for a set of crown jewels. <laughs> One and all shall see the indisputable might of House Zhang. Lose 1,788.7 gold. That's fine. I'll re immediately there is a uh, um, a smuggler's ring in human. I think the more you're in debt, the the faster they uh, um, they appear. But oh well. Three things. Wow. Just instantaneously on that day. Having decided to check up on Master Woozy's progress, I strolled over to the forge. I did not find him working on the project I commissioned, but instead working on a different task, specifically my daughter Princess Zhang Lize. Oh, um... not entirely sure that I care. Can you please focus on your work? That's not what I pay you for. Stay- get out and stay out. He is banished. Uh, I can kill him. What he does in the privacy uh, of his own forge is not my concern. It's fine. I haven't used that option before, so I'm, I'm kind of curious. Uh, truce is expiring with uh, you. Alright, that's fine. Mm. 
my wife tells me she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Doubt besets me. Hmm. I've thought it over, and I cannot be the father of my wife. My wife's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Uh, nah, I trust her word. I am most sorry, my king, Wuzi said, said apologetically. The goldsmith has informed me that the precious metals and gemstones needed to produce the crown jewels I ordered are impossible to find in my own realm. I can send a man on an expedition to acquire the mater said materials, although it will be costly. Eh. Send someone to the end of the world if need be. Make sure he's wearing a uh, uh, hubcap on his chest, though. Um, lose another thousand gold. Uh, but really, it, it, it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> This feels like gaming the system, I will be honest. Uh, I mean, the big problem is that it is putting a whole bunch of negative things in there. We had a jolly great time dressed up as wild men, dancing chained together and appearing shaggy and haired from head to foot. Too bad the fun was interrupted when a careless person set us on fire! I was saved from any greater harm by a courtier. Uh, 60% chance that I gain wounded. Some poor fool poured spirits all over me. 70% chance of gaining wounded. The pain, but it was worth it. Uh, I would be maimed. Uh, I would gain the trait severely injured. I don't think that I want to do that. I'll take the 60% chance. I appear to have not been wounded. Which I feel like is the first time that's ever happened to me. I don't want to risk dying until I get the crown jewels, so... I was overcome by excitement and curiosity when Woozy uh, informed me that the crown jewels were completed. As I am waiting in my throne room for his servants to carry the great box across the room, I struggle not to leap up and meet, him, meet them halfway. When I finally touch the heavy lid, my hands are shaking. Regalia worthy of a true king. Adds the crown of majesty to the treasury of King Zhang Yi Chao, son of Satan. Adds the emerald scepter to the treasury of King Zhang Yi Chao, son of Satan. Adds sword of heroes to the treasury of King Zhang Yi, Yi Chao, son of Satan. I just like saying that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally worth going in debt for this. So, again, uh, what are we looking at? Crown of majesty, uh, monthly prestige, point four. Uh, point three for the Emerald Scepter, point three for the Sword of Heroes. So that's going to be uh, one extra monthly prestige for my next character, which is just utterly fantastic. Um, very, very much worthwhile for, you know, being able to get this Empire title that I need. Um, right now, I am getting monthly prestige of 6.8. Um, I will create a new kingdom title with my new character, so that I'll get another, uh, point eight. Uh, so... 7.6. Assuming that other things, you know, stay about the same. That's really nice. Uh, that should help a lot. And I'll, I'll try to, you know, I'll, I'll be doing the, uh, uh, Passover events. I'll, uh, look at some other things. Just try to maximize, uh, my... Prestige to get up to uh, um, uh, 8,000. And I'll need to save up 16,000. Which I have been informed that it's a good thing that I am Han, even though I'm not Taoist anymore, uh, because that keeps it cheaper. Uh, so in, in addition, I am getting uh, Feudal Vassal Opinion plus 3, total of plus 6, and plus 9. City Vassal Opinion will be a total of plus 6. Tribal Vassal Opinion will be plus 10. Very, very good for ensuring that people don't, stay, you know, get really pissed off at me and stuff like that. So, uh, City Vassal Pinion. Well, let's actually just look at this. Um, so, Total City Vassal Pinion plus 8, Feudal Vassal Pinion plus 9, Tribal Vassal Pinion plus 10, Short Reign Years minus 2, uh, Health plus 0.5, Fertility plus 15%, Marshal plus 3, Stewardship plus 1, all kinds of good stuff in my treasury now. 
Uh, how are we doing? 238. I'm getting pretty close to being able to ask for a Chinese artifact. <laughs> what? Ah. Woozy vanished without a tra trace. Okay. That, that was not the sound I was expecting. I kind of feel like if they vanish without a trace, they probably shouldn't do the dying sound. Alright, so I need 250, right? No, I need 500, right, okay. So I don't think I'm going to get that. Castletown has been built. Uh, January 31st, 9.54, alright. I always imagined I would be the first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I uh, hear Levi's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I have lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. Um, 50% chance of gaining the trait depressed? Mazdaki heresy has appeared. Oh no, that's... I don't like that. It doesn't matter that much, but that's converted. Need to get more conversions going, though. Hmm, 4.74 yearly. Uh, why is that down? That was at six point something earlier. I don't know why it went down. Uh, I mean, we I, I believe we were at like 39% or 30 something percent when, uh, when I started that. So I don't know. So I will probably uh, just commit suicide as soon as uh, um, I finish this uh, See the Realm Prosper and get that last castle built. No. Not buying the land. Because that'll stick with the uh, the territory. I think you're, uh, you're going to lose your, your thing. Alright. I got a, uh, a daughter here. Might not actually be my daughter, but I don't really care. If you're not actually my kid, don't like that you're tang good. I should have. There is an option, but it's it's a a game option as opposed to an an in-game option to be alerted for other kids too. And I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't set that. I thought I did though. I, I guess I didn't. Um. I'll just go with the stewardship education. It's fine. I'm pretty sure that this guy's going to lose his holy war. Call for my court physician at once. During the last few days, my wife, Queen Gangambika, has not been able to keep any food or drink, uh, drink her food down. It seems as if she's suffering from food poisoning. I should compensate Dayway for a job well done. Sure. It's fine. Alright, Dege imprisoned this guy. So he won his revolt won won the revolt against him. So that's good. He may revoke those. Uh, daughter was born to my daughter. Alright. Excellent. Here we go. 
All right, King Zhang Chao, son of Satan, fulfilled the ambition to see the realm prosper. Very nice. So that did end up uh, netting me another point. Ah, uh, probably not, because I probably already had that. Negotiate with Soba. Really? Another one? Where are you right now? No, oh, that's you right there. Raiders and Nick Bogged. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, not sure I'm going to be doing anything about that. Don't know that I care that much. Okay, took care of them. Uh, so my son is 31. Grandson is only 5. 12, 19, 10, 10, 8. Don't have as good stewardship, which is a shame. My wife is a decent steward, though. I'm not sure how pressing a claim on a cognate would work. Actually, not sure that you ever could press a weak claim. Uh, but, yeah. I think that it is time to commit suicide. I've had a good life, 67. Um... Let's actually check the history. When did I uh, inherit? 920. So I've been ruling for uh, um, yeah, 34 years is uh, pretty good. That's uh, not bad at all. Uh, and this way, you know. I will be ruling, uh, starting out f fairly young, uh, not too bad. Um, you are 15. Let me go ahead and transfer your guardianship to someone else. Let's go with you. Wait for that to complete. Oh, nope. <laughs> Gladly accept the guardianship contract, like, on the day that he becomes an amateurish plotter. Whoops. Oh, well. That is unfortunate. He turned out really crappy. Alright, but I think that I'm going to commit suicide. Um, it's just best to uh, move on to a younger character earlier. Uh, start getting the, uh, the prestige and everything like that. Take care of that budget deficit. Let's do it. You tried. You really, really did. But dark thoughts creep uninvited into your mind nonetheless. Uh, you know that you are not alone, although it sure feels that way. Being surrounded by people who do not see, cannot understand, some days that is worse than total isolation. Poison will gift me sweet oblivion. I will have a quick and painless death by the noose. A high balcony in the keep offers one last view of my realm. You indulge in one last look at the surrounding landscape before you climbed the railing. It was a beautiful sight, yet you would not miss it. A deep breath, and then you fell, free as a bird. Ah, now the endless rest. I lose 200 prestige. Uh, I get suicide. General opinion, minus 50. That could hurt me with my next ruler but I hope it'll be okay. All right, King Yi Chao II has ascended to heaven at age 67. He committed suicide. Technically, he wouldn't ascend to... No, wait, that's a Catholic thing. I'm not sure if uh, uh, Judaism has that. Never mind. Uh, a humble man, he never wanted anyone to make fuss over his accomplishments. A godly man, Yi Chao is with God now. I just don't know one way or the other. 
Uh, King Huai Shen II, blessed with an abundance of friends, Huai Shen is likely to find strong support for his rule. Long live King Huai Shen II. So be it. All right, this could end up being uh, interesting, but uh, let's see. Relations? Eh, two friends, not that many. Your wife is one, that's great. You have a lover who's currently 51. You know what? Let's uh let's break up. Just clean start. I can press a claim on a mosque, huh? All right, character focus. Let's see. Um let me wait a minute and see what it's going to, you know, what what stuff is going to pop up. Uh, I need a marshal. Uh, I guess I'll go with you. Train troops. Set crown focus. Yep. No longer in debt. So good. Uh, recruit a court physician. Maybe I should just do that here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's request a Chinese physician. Uh, they're pretty good. So we get a guy with seduction focus. Fantastic. Man religious conversion? No. Send gift. 16. That might be enough. There we go. Send my regards to the Emperor. Uh, I do want to kowtow to the Emperor right away. Uh, let's get going. The journey to visit the Emperor of Yan Empire and show my subservience will take months, if not even years. I take my farewells to my near and dear and prepare the caravan for departure. Let's get going. Okay, so Court Eunuch. Uh, I guess I can be you. I think I may have lost my other one. That is disappointing. Uh, Court Jester. No, I don't need a... S Chester, that's silly. I do need a court tutor. Um, I think I will go with my wife. It's not bad. And yes, I did lose that uh, uh, eunuch guy. I hate that you lose some of these guys. They just automatically disappear uh, when characters uh, die like that. Uh, it's a real, a real pain when you've got you know, people kind of set up as, uh, um... You know, kind of a... Maybe not integral position, but a pretty important position. Alright, Council's discontent. That's kind of expected at the moment. Uh, troops seem okay. I could up uh, status of women, but I think it's better to start working on the obligations. So let's get uh, uh, burgers shifted towards uh, uh, tax. That's good. That's really about it. We'll see what uh, what kowtowing does for us. Uh, and did I receive everything? Uh, I still have the Juge crossbow. Let's go ahead and uh, unequip that and equip Fury. Yeah, I think I kept everything. Okay. Uh, it's mostly the books that are kind of the worry. Uh, I could actually join the Hermetic Society, I think. No, I need... Learning of Ten. Okay. I have a new heir, of course. You are my regent. I gained a title. Paragon of Virtue. Piety uh, greater or equal to 500. It's not bad. I'm currently gaining 0.91. Ooh. 
but I am gaining 9.47 monthly prestige. And I can create the Kingdom of Calm, but I need more money. All right. All right, so character focus. Um, actually, 10 out of 12 on domain size. Oh, that's that's because of the other guy, right? Raiders have arrived in Nick Fog. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting involved in that right now. So, what do I want? Uh, Marshall is at 20. That's really good. Stewardship could go up. That would be more taxes. Or I could just go for more learning. I could take scholarship. That could be good. Um, I've got a trade route for now, so yeah. yeah. Let's go for scholarship for the moment. I can build an observatory. When I get money. You've converted? Good. Hey, nice! Nice! News from China. After years of confusing warfare and shifting alliances, the Chinese Civil War is finally over. The old regime has fallen, and Emperor, Emperor Bahulu Liezu, a pretender prince of the old dynasty, has emerged victorious and now sits upon the dragon throne. Things are slowly returning to normal in the Middle Kingdom, and Silk Road is safe again. I am so glad that I uh, um, took that uh, uh, Chinese physician. I got that just in the nick of time. Oh, that's pretty good. Good, I could use some new silk clothes. Alright, so it's stable. It is open. We are getting more money. I... It still says that I've recently... Oh, because he's the same dynasty. Okay, no, actually, okay, so that's... It doesn't really matter, then. Never mind. Recent events in the Yan Empire have caused various rebel factions to rise up in and around the Middle Kingdom. One of them is led by Go'er to in charge of a Kitan tribe, descending upon the west from the mountains. Wherever he goes, the countryside is left ablaze. Throughout the region, people are praying for someone to deal with the hostile raiders. How unsettling. Okay, well, let's see. Where exactly are you? You're up there. 2,700 uh, uh, troops. Um, not too worried about that. I mean, he might attack King Hai, but... I mean, not King High, uh, Ichbog, he might raid that, but, psh, eh, eh. Uh, but anyway, we are off on our pilgrimage, uh, so when we return, uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we'll get a higher tier, uh, of the Kowtow trait. I would like to get the second tier or the third tier. First tier would kind of suck, just because it's just one, you know, grace. Two grace is good, four is awesome. Uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and call this an episode here. When we come back, we'll see how the kowtow goes. Um, I do not know what determines what your trait's going to be, uh, and I kind of wish I did. Anyway, see you next time, everyone.